decided to come along for another ride along and we're gonna go up here and get these folks pulled out I guess they're stuck in along the uh, reservoir down by the water so Jeez. we'll take you along for the ride between tough and stupid. <laughs> Go get your coat on. Or... We're all going. This is going how it goes. You're going for it? Ooh. I want to get out of the car. Do you want to get yes. out? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just yeah, having no, you're good. No, no, you're, you're good. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> you don't want the ten dollar ride? No. <laughs> I'll take twenty I'll give you twenty and I'll get out. <laughs> yeah, I'll join you guys. <laughs> That's what we always used to hey, joke I'm about. Cool. Hey when you guys get back to Hurricane Call me, I'll take you to the sand dunes. Well, where do you start? Maybe you just run a couple ropes out and just spin his front end right around and just pull him up back out that other way, maybe? It looks harder right there. You're trying to get a log underneath the wheels, but it was just really out there. Well, the scary thing is, is that looks that looks hard right there, but it's really not. Too carried away with the uh, throttle or any of that stuff. And you want it in neutral or you want it? No, I'll have you just put it in gear and gear. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I'll let you drop down in there so I'm gonna just uh, pull a couple ropes out it's not going to be much of a kinetic recovery I'm just gonna pull him up out of there so we'll hook a couple ropes together and a strap just drive him out of there nice and easy so if this was a kinetic recovery I wouldn't do any hard shackles in the connection point. I would always use the soft shackler to bind the ropes together separately. I mean, if the if we lose tension, then the rope can fall off the front bumper. So 
nice. Don't give it slack. Yeah, and you can you can give it just a little throttle and help work me out. Um, but you're in four wheel drive. Yeah, and if you want to just put it in four wheel drive, and I'll just drive nice and slow. And wherever you end up coming out, whether it's right here on this bank or whether it's clear up in that corner, I'll just put a little, just keep some tension on you. And if you, if you don't like anything, just beep the horn twice, and I'll stop. And if you're if you're good, we'll uh, reassess whatever we got to do. Just we don't have any issues. As long as you straddle the rope, you're good to go. Yeah. So that was perfect. too big of a deal you guys hear me say that quite a bit but it really wasn't but there was no way I was gonna drive down in there against the lake where he was stuck and try to figure out how to get out so I just ran oh that was about 90 feet of rope and strap and pulled him up out of there without much of a struggle at all he kind of helped me along in four-wheel drive low and normally when I do those I tie them together with a soft shackle if I'm going to do any type of kinetic pull but I used a hard shackle in between there and keeping the safety aspect of the rescue in my mind pretty much all the time. So thanks for coming along for the ride and we will catch you on the next one.